too many paintings and not a place to display. So let's go and see what is this one. We can put them on an easel probably. So this is the easel it needs assembling. So we are going now to assemble it. And there is a guide, a manual, assembly manual, and some screws. Okay, the assembly manual actually is inside it. This is just a number and the name probably. So let's open this and check the manual. So that's the way it is. It's in, written in Chinese, but anyway, we try to do it by studying the pictures. Okay, according to manual, there is a long beam and uh, two smaller pieces of wood go into it. So this is the long beam. Uh, it has a um, yeah wood cutting there, and this has a similar groove, so it, they go together. Yeah, and one end of it has another key, which has to go inside here. So that's the key, and that's where it goes. Okay, according to the manual, this one here should be secured by the metal part, which is in the third step. But at the moment, we just add the two other legs to it. So we have another key and joint here, one for here and two there which they have to go to each other look at this one also. so we put them together now okay nice and easy now according to this this stage is done oh i did reverse uh, the round bits should be in that side. These are the round bits, round edges, should be on the top. So I remove it and put it back. Yes, as you can see, the round parts, rounded parts are on top, and this straight edges are on the bottom. And that's what this shows. The third stage is to put that metal bracket, which is this one, somewhere here. Hmm and use three screws to fix it let's see how we can do that okay it has to stay like that there are already two holes here and if I turn it probably I will see the third hole in this one so probably I'll turn it over let's see anyway you screw it on these two Uh, that will be holding something, I suppose. Yeah, let's hold the left third leg. Okay, for doing this, you need a screwdriver. So these are the small screws I found here. One, two. There must be a third one here, which I will find. Yes, this is the third, and. It goes like that here. I need a screwdriver for here. This is stitch. Okay, these are the screws and I'm going to tighten the screws now. Okay, the third screw is also tightened. And is ready now for the next stage. Okay, we did the third, now we're on the fourth. So, we have to put those three screws which comes like th oh there are three screws like that which that is screws which are B and C B's are a little bit bigger than the C so how can I see that one B here Another B here, and 
these are the smallest so among these things I have to find the smallest one yeah that's the C so B and C go here for the next fourth stage which involves hmm, one piece of wood on the back holding and two attached to that okay let's see what we have here okay whatever is this this uh, involves a, a piece of wood with one screw at least which hinges to here so i have a one piece of wood and not the only remaining long wood it hinges to here oh fits easy yeah okay it hinges here and the screw C, which is the smallest one, uh, see this one, goes here. Let me just do it. So the screw C is fixed here. Relatively easy. Now I put it and tighten it with this knot. So you don't need to really tighten it because this is, unless you want to put it in position and don't move. If you want to do that, you have to put a screwdriver and tighten up with the hand this side. So that will be the way to tighten it. At the moment, I don't want to do that because I want to be able to move. Okay, I noticed a mistake. This side of it should be underneath. This, there is a slope, this stuff is slope. So that means that can move a little bit forward. At the moment, the movement is very limited. But if I put it the other way, the movement will be more, uh, um, I can go for a higher angle. So let me unscrew it and do it the other way. So this was like this with this angle. Now I'm going to turn it over, put it like this. So that makes it more flexible to move at a higher angle. Let's just do it now. And now you can see I've done it. It can go a really high angle, almost 70 degrees. That's good. What is the next part? There is a second piece of wood which comes between here and here and can hinge like a hinge. This is a good part. So I have to find a suitable piece of wood here. Mm -hmm. Oh, they look like uh, tiny pieces of wood. That's it. These are the ones. One in this side, one the other side. And they go with this uh, screw size as B. Which is a little thin but longer. So let's do this. Okay, this is what I've done. This is screw. I've added it to this part. And these two pieces of wood. Both are passing through it. Now, I tighten this side the screw and go for the next which should be here now i will pass this through here and the other side as you can see through this groove and the other side will go through this piece of wood so let's see Yeah, done. Now I will tighten it with this bolt. So now this can be tightened up and you can hold it in one position like that, for example. I can tighten it and it just stays at that angle. That's really done nice. Now what is the fifth stage? Uh, in the front, I have to attach uh, this and this to hold the canvas so the bigger one goes on the bottom and the smaller one goes on the top so this goes like that like that oh yeah there's a groove here it holds a painting So that is the way it should be downward. Okay, and these parts have grooves which go here 
Then they get tightened on the other side by this piece of wood which goes underneath. And the same for this side. Just remember, this has to be downward. Okay, and this has to be upward. Then you use the screws A, which are the remaining four big screws. And we do the same with this side and the other side. That's a, another piece which goes underneath in this one. I will show you. That's the way this should look. I'll show you. I do the same for the others. Okay, this part is also done. The only remaining thing is that I should have done it in the uh, second stage was to screw these parts together. And the four screws for those, and two also on that side and this side. So I will do them now. The only thing that you have to observe is that when you screw this into here, you have to hold this piece and press it against this one. Otherwise, the the screw will push that out and it comes out of this uh, lock. So gently press them like this so and you can put the screwdriver to tighten this part. Now this is done. Our beautiful easel, studio easel, is operational. Let's put a painting on it. And that's the way the easel looks. We have set it up. Gracias.